Hello everyone. This video is on the Newton Alta assignment for section 3.3 part 2 called Solve Ticket and Stamp Word Problems. All right, so in this video I'm going to be doing a preview version of this particular assignment. Please understand that the questions I see in this video may not be the same questions that you see when you work on the assignment yourself. But the objectives are the same, the structure is similar, so I'm hoping that watching me go through these here help you out in some way when you work on the assignment on your own. Alright, so the assignment page you should be seeing the title, mastery bar telling you how far along you've gotten, the objectives, right, it looks like there's just the one objective, right, solve, ticket, and stamp word problems. And under the objective, you should be seeing a question related to that objective. And at the bottom of every question, there should be a feedback button where you can send feedback to Newton. You will not have this instructor cheat button. That's for instructors only. But you will have the more instruction button. All right. And if you're struggling with a topic, click on this. You'll be taken to a page with some further reading or videos to study and be given questions related to that instruction. And completing those questions is another way you can get through the assignment. All right, so the first objective, the only objective, solve ticket and stamp word problems. Uh, this will be probably pretty similar to the section 3.3 part one video. Uh, that assignment had solve, you know, coin word problems. This is ticket and stamp. I'm um, pretty sure the key to these is going to be to know how much each ticket is worth or how much each stamp is worth, just like you had to know how much each coin was worth in section 3.3 part 1. Alright, so I'm just going to read through these and start writing them out and approach them the same way I did those coin word problems. Alright, so for the 7.30 showtime, 140 movie tickets were sold. Receipts from the $13 adult tickets and the $10 senior tickets totaled $1,664. How many adult tickets and how many senior tickets were sold? All right. Well, let's do this. So I'll write out the information. Now we have these unknowns, right? The number of adult tickets sold. That's unknown. The number of senior tickets sold is also unknown. These are the things we're being asked for. Now some information. They told us a total of 140 tickets was sold. So that means, say I call the number of adult tickets A, then the number of senior tickets would just be how much is left over. Right? So that's going to be 140 minus A. I hope that makes sense. Right, if you were to add these together, the A's would cancel, go away, and you'd have 140 total. Now, I could have done the same thing with the senior tickets, right? I could have called the senior tickets S, and then the adult tickets would have been 140 minus S. But as long as the total is 140, you're good. Now, the amount of money that was sold, right? $1,664 total sold, right? And we know that the adult tickets were $13 each. The senior tickets were $10 each. Right? That's key. Because just like the coin problems, you know, the money from the adult tickets, I'll say money from adult, you add that to the money made from the senior tickets, And it should give you $1,664, right? The total amount of money 
brought in. So from the adult tickets, right, they sold A adult tickets, but each one of those is worth $13. So the amount of money the adult tickets brought in is 13 times A. I hope that makes sense, right? If they sold one ticket times 13, that'd be 13 bucks. If they sold two adult tickets times 13, that'd be $26, right, and so on. So the number of adult tickets times 13 is the amount of money made from the adult tickets and then the number of senior tickets is this quantity here, 140 minus A. That's the number of senior tickets sold. And each one of these sells for $10. So the amount of money brought in from the senior tickets is this times 10. So I'll put 10 out front like that. And this is going to be equal to $1,664. So again, very, very, very similar to the coin problems in section 3.3 part 1. Right, and I solve for A, and then we'll use a solution of our equation to answer the question how many adult tickets and senior tickets were sold. So here I'm distributing this 10. So we have 13A plus you know, 1,400 minus 10A equals 1664. Then combining like terms over here, we have 3A plus 1,400 equals 1,664, and then I would subtract 1,400, have 3A on the left. Now if I subtract 1,400, that'd be 264 on the right. All right, 1,664 minus 1,400. And then divide both sides by three. Uh, let's see, that's 88. Right, 3 times 88 would be 240 plus 24, that would be 264. So A is 88. That means you know, the number of adult tickets sold, that's what A represented, the number of adults tickets sold was 88. And then the rest of them, right, the rest of the 140 was the senior tickets. So just put in 88 for A again, One, 140 minus 88 would be 52. 52. And there you go. This is what they want. Now don't forget to check your answer. Alright, let's, th let's see how much money would be brought in. <clears throat> now if you sold 88 tickets for $13 each, you know, 88 times 13 is $1,144. That's from the adult tickets. And then the senior tickets were just 10 bucks a piece. You know, if you sold 52 of them, that'd be $520. And then add these together, and that's indeed $1,664. Alright, so this, this checks out. Those numbers make sense with those costs. Right, so back on the assignment, right, we sold 88 adult tickets, 52 senior tickets. Right. I'm, hope, I'm hoping you're seeing the parallels between this and the coin problems. All right, now after you submit an answer, you'll be told if you're right or wrong, and then be given some sort of answer explanation. Please read through the answer explanations, and hopefully you understand you know, why, it, why something was right, why something was wrong, and uh, maybe you can learn from your mistakes for future questions. All right, next question. All right, so this is a uh, Mario invested four hundred and seventy-five dollars in forty-five dollar and twenty-five dollar stock shares. The number of twenty-five dollar shares was five less than the number than three times the number of $45 shares. How many of each type of share did he buy? All right. So it's like the, again, so it's like the adult tickets and senior tickets, very similar. And notice they even give us the units at the end here, you know, the number of $25 shares and the number of $45 shares. And those are also giving us how much they're, they're worth. You know, each $25 share is worth $25. 
each $45 share is worth $45. That's going to help us in writing an equation later. So the number of you know $25 shares, I don't know what that is, I'll call it something. And the number of $45 shares, same thing. Now I want to use as, as few variables as possible. Now they gave us a sentence saying, you know, the number of $25 shares was five less than three times the number of $45 shares. So I'm going to call this X for the number, I'm going to call the number of $45 shares X. And based on that sentence, the number of $25 shares was, you know, three times the number of $45 shares, three times X, but, you know, five less than that. So minus five, right, three X minus five. And then the total invested in these shares was uh, four hundred and seventy five dollars right, so the, the the total amount of money spent on twenty five dollar shares plus the total amount of money spent on forty five dollar shares should add up to four seventy five so if we take the number of twenty five dollar shares right each each one of these is worth twenty five dollars so I'm going to multiply that by twenty five plus you know, the number of $45 shares, right? each one of these is worth $45, so times 45. That amount of money should be equal to 475, for right? the amount he to invested in both of them. And then we solve for x and use our solution to answer the question. So here I'm going to distribute the 25. We have a 75x minus 125 plus 45x equals 475. Then uh, 75 plus 45 is 120. So I have 120x. And I would just be adding 125 to both sides to get 600 over here. 475 plus 125. And then dividing by 120, we get x equals 5. Right. So that means he bought 5 of these $45 shares. And then 3 times 5 is 15, minus 5 is 10. So he bought 10 $25 shares. That would be for 250 bucks, right? 25 times 10. Plus, and then he bought 5 $45 shares for $225. Right? 5 times 45. And if you add those up, you get 475. And so that checks out. So he bought 10 $25 shares and 5 uh, $45 shares. So I have 10 of these, 5 of these. Great. Alright. So another probably similar problem. This is this is similar to the adult and senior tickets from the movie theater one, but it's you know at a park and you have adult ch adult tickets and ch child tickets. It's a very similar setup. All these are really. So one afternoon, the water park sold 525 tickets for a total of thirteen thousand five hundred forty-five dollars. Child tickets cost nineteen dollars each. Adult tickets cost $40 each. How many of each kind were sold? All right. So the number of adult tickets, I don't know. The number of child tickets, I don't know. All right, but I do know that there were 525 tickets total Meaning, you know, if I call again, if I call adult tickets A, the number of child tickets would be 525 minus A, right? What's left over? And the adult tickets were 40 bucks each. Right? The child tickets were 19 dollars each, and they sold a total. They made a total of 13,545 dollars. And that's where our equation is going to come from. So $40 times the A adult tickets plus $19 
times the 525 minus A child tickets will be equal to the $13,545 total. All right. And we're solving this for A and then using our solutions to you know answer the question. So here I'm going to distribute the 19. All right, and if you if you want to do that by hand, fine. But I've got a calculator in my hand off to the side here. So we have 40a plus, and then you know 15, or sorry, 525 times 19. It's a 9,975 and then minus 19a equals 13,545 and right, then 40a minus 19a would be 21a and then I would subtract these right, and I'll just again if you want to do it by hand cool but I'm just going to save some time here 13,545 minus 9,975 subtracting that is uh, 3,570 and then we divide this by 21 to get A alone and that's 170 total uh, adult tickets sorry not total there's A, A is 170 All right, so there that's that's what the, that's the number of adult tickets that were sold and then 525 minus this would be 355. So there's the number of tickets they sold. They sold 170 adult tickets and 355 child tickets right, for a total of 525 tickets. And if you multiply 170 by 40 and 355 by 19, add them up, you should get $13,545 sold but I'll leave that to you this time to check. All right, so adult tickets, 170 sold. Child tickets, 355 sold. Great. All right, I should have just one more of these. And again, you may have noticed how similar they all are, just like the coin problems. So yeah, tickets for a basketball game cost $2 for students and $5 for adults. The number of students was three less than 10 times the number of adults. The total amount of money from ticket sales was $619. How many of each ticket was sold, right? How many adult tickets, how many student tickets? So very, very similar setup. So again, number of adult tickets the number of student tickets, let's say number adult, number student, and the adult tickets were you know, $5 each. The student tickets were only $2 each. And they said the number of students was three less than 10 times the number of adults. So I'm gonna call the number of adults A again, and then take 10A minus three for the number of students, right? Three less than 10 times the number of adults. And they made a total of $619, right? So the amount of money made from the adult tickets would be five times A, right? It was $5 for each adult ticket. Plus the amount of money made from the student tickets would be two times the quantity 10A minus three, right? $2 for each student ticket. Should, have at, should add up to 619. All right, so distributing this two to get rid of parentheses, we have 5a plus 20a minus six equals 619. This is 25a on the left. And then when I add six to both sides, it'd be 625. And then dividing both sides by 25, would be uh, 25. 625 divided by 25 is 25. So there were 25 adult tickets sold, and then, you know, 
10 times 25 is 250, minus 3 would be 247 student tickets sold. Right? So a lot more students there than adults. And that's it. And again, you can double check, you know, multiply the 25 by 5, multiply 247 by 2, add them up, it should be 619. So 25 adult tickets, 247 student tickets. All right. Great. And again, please read through the answer explanations. All right. And that should be it for this preview version of this assignment. So, like I said at the top of the video, you know, please understand that the questions I see here are not going to be the same questions that you see when you work on the assignment yourself. But, you know, the objectives are the same, the structure is similar. So I'm hoping that watching me do these here helps you in some way when you work on the assignment on your own. And thank you very much for watching.